and it looks pretty good. It dropped a lot in the front. Let's see, let's see. What do you think, fool? Everything's good? Well, I feel like a baller up in this game, fool. Hey, fool, who sucked in the eye? Oh, hey, you can tell it dropped more though. Yeah, no, it's starting to settle back down. Looks pretty good. Tap in. Oh, shit. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Oakland's Garage. Today we got a BMW in. That's an X6 M50i. So we got it right here. So we got the boys rig on it right now. Some big ass calipers. So right now we're putting on lowering springs. These are the stock springs. Oh, here we got the HR lowering springs. They're pretty nice. All right, easy. What are we doing right here? Huh? We're about to take the top part of the strut. Oh, we got the separate the one for the knuckle. And then upper controller and then the top three bolts on top all right so this guy already almost has a site out already he just started running like 20 minutes ago this was just lost but anyways the back is pretty high as you can tell it's like a whole fist so with these springs it should drop it about an inch and a half two inches what do you think fool Like they all right? Oh yeah. This cool, man. this brand's known for like chargers and like Hellcats. Yeah, I think some Mustangs use them, but mainly in Mopar. Made in Germany, bro. Yeah, for BMWs and Mopar. Uh, we we'll do a little measurement right here to compare it, the before and after. We can't do that to the front because they already got started on it. But anyways, let's get it. So right now we're gonna do like a little height test or measurement. My bad, not test. So what, that's like about 33 inches right there. So 33 inches in the front. I didn't get a measure it because like I said, they already started on it. So right now he's loosening up the top three uh, torques. Yeah. Well, inver inverted torques. So right now, push it down. Basically, I'll push the shut down and then pull it out, and it'll come out pretty easy. Sorry, no trouble. Well, on this side is still uh, together, so right now we're gonna take out the stray bar link right here. So we're gonna take out this little bolt. We're gonna take out the upper control arm bolt right here. Obviously, the wire harness, and then this top bolt right here for the spindle. And theoretically, this part should come down, get out of the way, make room for the strut to come down. And right here at the top, uh, three inverted torques. There's three bolts, one right here, one under this bar we gotta get out of the way, and then one in the back. So right now there's no videos on how to do this. So right now we're lubricating the strut. This way could slide out of that sleeve on a spindle easier. But it's being a pain in the ass. Here's a stock strut. It's an 18 millimeter bolt on top. It's right there. Pretty easy. Right there, we have it hanging by a brake caliper hanger. This way, it won't be so much tension on the brake hose. So you see how this 18 millimeter bolt right here? I line up this line right here with the sensor. And I just do a line right here. This way you know where it goes. This is a stock spring, obviously. Dang, it's just heavy. So we'll do a little comparison. Say, what, well, like an inch shorter, inch and a half. That's it. The Lorraine spring. Oh wait, my bad. Put this on first. The rubber condom. Let's take a dust boot. 
Then you put the loin spring. Line it up. Now you put the top hat on. Yeah, make sure you line this one up. Like I said, with the sensor and this line right here. And then right now we're gonna compress it and put the top nut on. So now we got the aftermarket loin spring on. So it looks a little quick comparison. These look a little bit more nicer. So see how it goes. Everything's all lined up. This line's lined up with the sensor and the bottom line. There we go, made it nice, nice and clean. All right, here you go, Fu, put it on. So, so right now, my boy Easy gonna need some help, so I'm gonna have to get off the camera right now, but we're installing that loin spring. We got my other paisa homie, Diego, right here. What are you doing, Diego? I don't know, bro. So right there, he's losing the tension. <clears throat> on the sway bar link right here so it's a torx inside i think it's a t40 i believe and an 18 millimeter bolt he has to do some that once he does that he could loosen this top bolt that goes to the upper control arm loosen the bottom bolt we're gonna have to hit the strut up a little bit <laughs> take these three bolts off on top and it should come out. But right now we had to jack up the bottom, lower control arm, in order to line up the strut. See how it's in place? The bolts are already in. Right now he's just doing the upper control arm. We have these bolts in on top, all three. We just gotta torque them to specs. Took us about an hour for one side. So we aligned it back up with a jack on the bottom, jacking up the lower control arm, got it in place. We're gonna put the nut in. So we got the new spring in, looks pretty good. So basically, what we did to the other side, we gotta do it to this side. We're almost done. Then we could do the back. The back should be easier, I believe. You just gotta take out the interior, hit the carpet, and like some little stuff inside in order to access the top of the strut. And then, obviously take out the wheels. And then, there's like a lower control arm underneath. You have to drop that lower control arm. It's like two bolts, I believe. And then the strut should fall out theoretically, so hopefully that's how it goes. Uh, we'll give you a little update right now. So right now we got the boat out for the sway bar link. We got the strut bar out. The strut boat right here. We loosened this one right here. Now we gotta hit it out. And then theoretically the arm should just fall down. You got that phone? Hmm? No. Come on. So now we got this boat fully out from the arm. Now we have to pry this down, the arm, for it to come out. So right now I just pry down the arm a little bit. It popped off. Look, see it's all loose. Okay. It's getting the bolts on the top. And then we should be able to take out the whole strut from the bottom. In the front, all you gotta do is line it up for the rears. This stuff's pretty simple. Can't mess it up. Unless you're Diego. Ooh, and then just reassemble everything, that's it. We got this side in. It's a pain in the ass. So basically you tell this bolt, this bolt, okay. this one, disconnect this connector up here. And somehow fish this between the back arm and the lower control arm. It's a pain in the ass, so. Driver's side's done. Passenger side's done. 
before it was about 33 inches now it's only 31 and a half and then the front the front starts to settle in there's still like a little gap so the front's like at 31 and a half two almost so i dropped it like about two inches in the back and i got what an inch and a half in the front so it's pretty good it's pretty clean so before i be able to put my fist right there no it doesn't even fit no comparison all right guys that's it for this install quick install quick little video tap in subscribe drop a comment drop a like you already know little bmw action with those hr learning springs hey what do you guys think about the install I mean, it looks, different. looks all right. Yeah, yeah, it's just different. Rated to one through ten. How hard? Actually, for real, I think like for real, six. one through ten. That shit, that shit, that shit looks. I like it. No, like how hard it is, fool. That's why. No, not how hard the car is, fool. How hard the job is. Oh, how hard the job is. One through ten. Like a six. Like a six. Yeah, like a six or seven. Because if we had a lift, it'll be easier, but obviously we're doing this on the floor, so yeah, it's a little harder. My boy's twerking down the wheels right now to ship it to the customer. We're going to go test drive it, launch it maybe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, but subscribe, drop a comment, a like. Catch you guys later.